Okay, so I just made a video today about this Goodwill that's down the street from my post office and all the good finds that I got from that. So hopefully you saw that video. Uh, I'm back at the same Goodwill. So I, again, I have one hour <laughs> before they close. So I'm going to go in here and see what I can find. This is one of the smallest Goodwills that we have too. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, so we're back in the car. Uh, that place was a little busy, so could not do uh, any recording in there. Uh, I did get enough video, I think, to make like a little TikTok, and I'll show you why. But uh, I only spent, um, I spent $37.88, and I got three little bags of stuff. I did not get a bunch. I did have to dig this time. But let's just do a little quickie in the car instead of doing a whole video about it. Uh, I'll show you what I got. I did pick up this Masters, uh, men's Masters polo. So if you ever see that right there, pick it up. Most Masters uh, Performance Collection men's polos run anywhere from $20 to $30. You can get for those, especially if they're in good condition, obviously. And then I saw this uh, button-up Harley Davidson shirt, and I was like looking at the front of it. Here's like the front pocket, and then the sleeves have like these, I don't know, flames or I don't know, some sort of like tribal something on there. But I looked at the back, and of course it's Buell. So B-U-E-L-L, -L, if you didn't know, that is Harley Davidson makes Buell. All right, let's see what else. I have not, I pick up Affliction a lot as far as like the polos and the t-shirts for men, but I found a pair of Affliction shorts, men's shorts. So they're pretty funky. They have like, I don't know what you call these, some sort of like rivet things on there. They feel like, uh, can you hear that? It's like a... I don't know. It's shiny, almost like a cheap leather. So I don't know what this is, but I picked them up anyway. Shorts are pretty cheap and I'm like, why not? Let's try it because I've never sold these before. So yeah, we'll find out about these bad boys. All right, there's that. And then I picked up these uh, for myself, just a little pair of shorts for me. And I got a pair of, these are only like $1.99. This is more uh, flame resistant. This is like the underwear that you wear under the pants, but they're the long ones. So I got those. I have never bought these before, uh, the kind that go underneath the pants. So I'm excited to see how they'll do. And then this is why I did a TikTok in there because I was going through the men's dress pants and the reason that I go through those is definitely not to buy men's dress pants to resell. I go through them because that's where they put a lot of the flame resistant, fire retardant pants. They mix them in with the men's dress pants and so that's where I look for them. Uh, if they're not jeans, then you know they're like a work pant material and that's what these are. These are Bulwark. These, this brand right here is a great brand to resell. And these are actually kind of thin, but they are the flame resistant. So you'll see this right here. And then if you're just like walking for this brand right here, if you're just like walking up and down um, the aisles or whatever, look, you know, like where cargo pockets were, would be. And if you see that triangle right there, then that's going to be a flame resistant pant. And these always do well. They sell very fast and they're just, they're great to pick up. So I did get two pair of these, this pair and they're both a little bit different. That one, that pair has cargo pockets so you can see you know the triangle on that one and then this one has it on the back pocket so this is more of like a, a flat front you know like dress pants so you can see how they would get these confused you know with like men's regular dress pants but they're really not their work pants so 
That's these. What size are these? I don't even know. Yeah, they're size 36, so that's a great size. And what else did I get? I did find um, one pair of Athleta pants. I did get these. So they had just put these out. These have a bunch of pockets in them. So I picked these up. And I also picked up this super cute t-shirt for me. It says good vibes on it. It's just a little, um, oh, you know that little Fashion Nova. But yeah, it's super soft. I love this. Really cute. So you probably see this in a future video, I bet. <laughs> yeah, there's the front and the back. It's got a lot of pretty colors. Got that for myself too. This is probably my biggest money maker. They only charge me $5.99 for this. They charge me uh, the same as they would like a, a hooded sweatshirt or something, I think is what it said on there. But this is new with tags. It's a Polar Tech Thermal Pro jacket. It's like the military style jacket. It's a size large. So yeah, brand new. Uh, I went ahead and um, it's like the fleece. I went ahead and looked it up while I was in there and it looked like for the new ones, they were selling for around 50 bucks. So that's shipped, but they're, I mean, they're kind of lightweight, so it's not gonna cost me that much to ship it. So all in all, I did pretty good for, what I say it was, 30, 38 bucks. And I'll make probably 50 off of this piece right here alone. So that's pretty good. That's not bad for an hour's worth of work. Uh, wasn't near as many big, you know, money makers like uh, the video I made earlier today from the same store. But I had to come and drop off some donations anyway of things that were either damaged or stuff that I just don't want to sell, stuff that's out of my closet, uh, things like that, that I don't, I don't want to sell it if I'm only going to make like 10 bucks off of it with free shipping or something. I don't, I don't have time to be, uh, messing with that. So I bring that kind of stuff here. But yeah, how long do you all usually spend in the thrift store? You, do you stay in there all day? Do you limit yourself? I don't know. I try to limit myself because I could stay in there all day long easily it would not be an issue for me I could definitely hang out there all day and I have hung out there all day but it's time for me to head home and get something to eat because I am starving it is like 5 30 and yeah it's getting late so if you haven't like and subscribe and hit the bell and all the good crap and we will see you in the next one bye